It's about 10 o'clock at night. I've got this um, inshore saltwater pro cure that I'm gonna try on this diesel minnow from Z-Man. Trying on this diesel minnow from Z-Man. There's really not much light out here. I'm gonna go for it. This is two days after the uh, full moon. We're out here at Shore Drive Dock. I'm fishing. It's pretty cold. Left my jacket in the car. I hear stuff out there. There's stuff out there jumping. I keep on going. If you're gonna do, if you're gonna move any bait, any of these uh, minnows or whatever, any kind of paddle tails or whatever, you've got to move it like so slow. You gotta just like sit in the water and not do anything. And then every once in a while, pull it up a little bit. That's what they're used to. That's what they're used to eating when it gets cold. They're lazy too. They're all, they're cold too, so they go slow. Now my, my main objective here is to see if I can find some trout. I'm hoping because it's been cold the past two days, they're all stacked up in here. This is a public dock. Anybody can come here. Yet again, searching and searching and searching in the wintertime, trying to find these fish. The weather is dropping dramatically. I'm just tying on some swim baits, uh, stopping off at as many, as many little inlet things I can find to just throw a line in. So far, no luck. Keep on trucking. So when you're fishing these areas, something to really be uh, weary about. See all this, this green down here, pointing at it? If you see green, that means slippery. Green equals slippery. So just know that when you're walking around. I think I got a fish on right now. Oh, he came off. That was crazy. I literally had a fish on. <laughs> That's insane. That's what you do, man. Just let the bait just sit. It's just sitting. I'm sitting here talking to you guys. I'm getting picked up. I felt like a flounder. I am going to try something here. I brought some uh, inshore saltwater pro cure. So the mission here is to just add some scent to the water. That's a lot, and that's okay. Whew, I can smell that now. Tossing it out though. Gonna let it sit and stink up the water. Give it a pop every once in a while. Come on, baby. So we're in Florida, and uh, the temperatures have dropped dramatically this week. I mean, we, we've been in the 30s. I have seriously seen mosquitoes in 30 degree weather. That's, I've never seen that before. I mean, I don't know if that's a new thing or what, but like, or I've just never noticed it. But these the mosquitoes are coming out 
in 30 degree weather. I mean, that is ridiculous. You can't wait for it to get cold here for that reason, at least that there's no bugs. They don't care, man. They're out here with sweaters on, you know, clinking each other's coffee and crap like that, man. And then they're biting each other's, uh, biting all the fishermen. Got to worry about all sorts of stuff. Florida. I mean, if you could see this slam shady in action, water's pretty clear enough. Looks, looks effective. The question is, are fish chewing? Are they chewing? Tune in. <laughs> All right, guys, this marks day three. This might even be day four. I'm not sure how the sequence of uh, what you've seen already, but we're gonna go use some fresh dead shrimp and try to catch some fish. Simple as that. Fish finder rig. I'm out here with the Timofei. What's up? Now it's, uh, the water temp has got to be mid 60s, if not low 60s. So we're hoping that the black drum are stacked up and the, uh, if, if there's trout or flounder, that they're stacked up in here. All right, I'm going to chuck one real quick. I'll try to go to the left here so you got the right. Side cast. All right, check the drag. Checking the drag. We got some good drag. And we wait. It could be a flounder. Got a flounder? Hey, let's bring him in. I see some. I see some movement. Is it a catfish? Oh, it's oh, oh no, no! It felt like a flounder. Uh, dang, so sir! Upsetting. So upsetting. Yeah, it did. Got, it pliers. was doing the suction thing. Yeah, get some pliers. It doesn't matter. I want to have to put a new, new one on. Okay. <laughs> Right side up. Well, you caught something. Fish on. Ain't gonna lie. Loading up the car. It is freaking cold out here. The sun just rose. I'm gonna load up these poles. Yeah, man. It, it's uh, it feels like 20 degrees out here with this wind. We got about 16. 17 mile per hour winds coming in. I'm pretty much crazy for doing what I'm doing. Getting cold. Sandman status. Let's get it. We're going real light today. It's gonna be fun. We made it to the spot. It is cold, okay? The wind is ripping in here. All right, let's check out these trees. Wind is ripping. Uh, the current and the tide seems to be coming in super fast, which is normal for this area. So we gotta check our, uh, our weights, see what we can hold down there. This is where you got to be careful. I am the only one here, so this is a great, great thing. Got to be careful. But I am excited, man. I am pumped. Let's get it going. Ooh, holding that frozen shrimp is brutal. Oh, there's so much wind, guys. There's so much wind. I hope we could even do this. I've got to walk over in the sunlight. My hand is numb. Oh. 
send this into that pylon right there. Boom, that's perfect. Can't get any better than that. Like literally perfect. Keep the line a little bit tight, a little bit taut, you know? I know the wind's blowing it. We have just a, uh, a drop shot on there, so it's not much weight, not much tension. As soon as you feel something take it, you got to rip it, yank it. This is extreme fishing right here for me. It doesn't usually get this cold in Florida. I mean, we're in the 20s. Right here where we are, the wind temperature is about 25, maybe a little less. Also, we're not in the sun. So this is pretty awesome. Got two pairs of gloves on and inside this glove is a, a hand warmer. That's doing magic wonders. I'm just using fresh dead shrimp for bait. I wasn't sure if I was going to come out here today and do this. But I woke up and said, you know what? Do it for the subscribers. Get your ass out there. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. oh, baby. But I have caught sheep's head right here in this spot. I have. There's a video, uh, I'm gonna link it below. That was when uh, it was much warmer out. I wanna get this bait in between those two pylons right there. That's about as perfect as I can get it, right there. Let it just sink down in this deep pool right here, this deep pocket. And these fish, they come in from this raging water here and they come in and they just try to get whatever, whatever bait they can scrounge up that's also trying to stay warm, safe. They hide in these rocks. The bait usually hides in these rocks, but these fish, man, they're ruthless. They'll, they'll go right into the rocks and take it. It's gotta suck being a fish. It's gotta suck. You're just always on high alert. Like, do you ever sleep? Oh, I'm getting hit right now. Fish on. Hey, we got our sheeper. First sheeper of the day. There we go. On the fresh dead. And our first sheeper of the day. It is not a legal size. So we will get this, this one back. Oh God, that's not even a sheep. That's a black drum. That's a baby drum. I'm wrong. Sitting here calling you a sheep's head, buddy. You're definitely a drum. Get that hook out of your mouth. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm going to get it out. He caught it in there pretty good. There we go. All right. Baby black drum. Here, we'll, we'll get it back. There you go. Go ahead and swim off, buddy. You're going the wrong way, though. Well, after about 30 more minutes of fishing, man, I my body was shaking, convulsing. I, I was just getting too cold. I just couldn't do it. I tried. I tried everything I had, man. I stood out there. I kept. I went and sat back in my car. Even I turned the heat on. I warmed back up. I went back out. Ah, oh, man, it got to a point where my fingers hurt so bad. I. I I couldn't even put bait on the hook. So I was just like, I'm just standing out here just getting pummeled by the wind. So anyway, I decided to uh, just pack it up, man. We did get that black drum. Fishing in winter time is super duper hard. I mean, you've got to be very dedicated or know exactly where to go, what, what bait to use, how to use it. Uh, that's, what, that's what these channels are for that we make for you guys. So. I know where the fish are. You just got to be able to deal with the elements. 
you can deal with the elements, then there you go. Stick to the structures. Winter time, go inshore. If you're gonna use swim baits, the best thing you could possibly do is use a little smaller profile and go very slow. Make it very, very slow. And then, to not even moving. And then these fish will, they'll attack it. So one fish will find it, you know? So, thank you guys so much. I love you. Make sure you subscribe. Come on, we need you. Subscribe. I really don't care how many subscribers I get, but it does help the channel. And people are starting to like this channel, so make sure you subscribe and then it will help the channel. I do appreciate you watching the videos. And um, in order to get the videos out there, hand in hand, we need more subscribers. So, whatever. But uh, keep it reeling, guys. We'll see you next time.